I had the idea last summer, I don't know where I was, that I should start out class by, uh, I should start out a, a, a semester by getting you all to tell each other and to tell me what you know and what you don't know. Because one of the, the things in this, this world of certainly talking about race relations is, um, or talking about the, a lot of the issues that we're discussing, is that we, sometimes we have the idea that people, people know things that, that they don't know because, um, or I don't know, we, we just don't really understand how much people really understand about certain issues. And, and, and I certainly don't have any idea like what you know and what you don't know. And, you know, the, the, the thing is in the, in the world of kind of social media and the web and so on, um, it's easy to sometimes imagine that people are... Um, yeah, I don't know that people know a lot. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to invite people up to talk. And, um, and we're going to operate in the following way. So we'll have volunteers. And you aren't expected to be an expert. You're, you're not really expected to know anything. I don't know anything. I don't know much about any of this stuff that we're talking about. So um, maybe you know, you probably, it's quite likely you know more than I do. Um, but, uh, you can't be snarky, especially if you're on Twitter. You can't say annoying things. Like making fun of something that somebody says or something like that. You know what I mean? That's just really uncool. All right, Jake, in order to do this, the first thing you gotta do is pick out the darkest skin and the lightest skin person in class. All right. <laughs> Bring them down, invite them down to the front. <laughs> you gotta walk around, man. Darkest skin person, the lightest skin person. <laughs> yeah. That's pretty hard thing to do. What's well, no? It's not, dude. The well, darkest. Well. Yeah, you gotta pick some. Pick them out. <laughs> lightest skin person, darkest skin person. All right. The darkest I'm gonna say is the guy in the back at the top. Yeah, totally. <laughs> Yo. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> dude, I can't even see him, man. Yeah, dude, come on down. All right, the lightest. Who's the lightest? Mm. All right, I'm going to say the girl in the Penn State sweatshirt right here. Did you know he was going to pick you? Yep. Low key? Low key? <laughs> you didn't? Well, no, hang on, hang on. I need another mic. Oh, wait, hang on. Go ahead. All right, so like low, low key, I was scared. So I was talking to Lauren, and I was like, she's going to pick me. And he was like, maybe. But why didn't I, don't, you want... I don't know why you picked me, dog. Why didn't you want him to pick you? Wait, why didn't you want him to pick you? I just don't want to come up. Oh, I see. All right. For this in particular. How about you? Wait, why this in particular? What about this in particular, bro? Because I don't know what's going on. You're crazy. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Dude, hang on. I mean, honestly, there's a lot of people I could have picked for either of you, but you okay. were just kind of standing out at the top, so it was, was easy to pick out. I was sitting down. I put my head down on purpose. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, but your boy he picked saw, you He saw out. your he hair, like, and he thought your hair was just, ah, I get it. No. So, dude, say something about their skin, something meaningful. Look at them both right there. What do you want me to say about it? Ah, whatever, man. You volunteered. Your job. You're um, teaching the class now. Say something about the two of them that's meaningful. Teach the class something about them. They're both beautiful. Ah, oh, uh, dude. That's what I'm saying. All right. Now, say something else. Come on. What about skin? Look at their skin. Here, hang on, hang on, hang on. No, look, at, look at their skin right here. What's what? How they get the color? How they get different skin tones? What happens when they're? It's in just he has more melatonin than her. Um. What's that? What's that? Say that again. Say that again. No, what did you say? More melatonin. Yeah, more melatonin. Yeah, all right, that's good. All right. But the reason it. is because when people started first moving out of Africa, everyone was first black, and then. Um, Basically, a genetic modification because uh, up in like Sweden and stuff, when your skin's lighter, it absorbs more vitamin D. The sweet. And so that's Where's why the people. Sweet? Yeah, go ahead. Got and it. that's why people became white in Europe and stuff like that. And that's why if you went from the middle of the country up, it would be like slowly fading to white because when your skin's not in the sun as much, it needs to absorb more vitamin D compared to if like the sun's out all day and all year round. Dude, you did. You killed it. All right. Did anybody have any questions for him? That was good. I learned that in another sociology class. All right, cool. Anybody have a question for him? So I have a question about the two 
volunteers. Yep. So like my first question is that how, how do you feel about like people of color bleaching their skin, not being proud of who they are, like what they're born with? For him and yeah. for her, what's your question for and her? For her is like, um, dang, I didn't make up a question. No, oh, it's the oh, opposite. Right, facts. So like how I like I don't understand like with tanning. It's like when people tan to get darker, but they don't like darker skinned people, but they're darkening their pigmentations with Okay, here, but let me let me actually flip the, I'm gonna flip that question to Sam. I'm gonna let me actually now hang on, I'm gonna help you with the question. I'm gonna just flip it. Sam, how do you feel about the fact that people who have really pale skin, such as yourself, have very, okay, um, little pigmentation in their skin that actually feel kind of ashamed by it and wish they could get more tan? I that's mean, the, like that's the, what tan. it is for white people. Um, I have no problem with being pale. I mean, I, I like getting tan. But what's the question again? Well, the question is, how do you feel about white people with skin like yours who feel kind of ashamed or like they don't like it? They wish they could tan more. It's their own body. Do what you want. Like, if you want to get tan, get tan. But you can't get tan. <laughs> That's true. You get red. I get red. I get very red. Are you happy about that? I mean, not when I get red because it sucks. It very much hurts. So if you could choose... I would get tan. You would get tan. I would get tan. Okay, that's his question to you. Out. What, what's behind that? I mean, everyone just says, like, oh, hey, you're so pale. Like, just go sit out in the sun for a little bit or something. Like, I know that. I know I'm pale. So the equivalent to him, then, is what do people say to him? So I, so I would say... So it's weird, right? I feel like between now in the past probably like a couple of years, in terms of just like me, like growing up and stuff like that, attitudes like shift, right? So when you're, when you're younger, um, and I grew up in New York, but I went to, so I grew up, in, where I grew up was like majority black neighborhood, blah, blah, blah. But I went to school with majority white people, right? So when I was growing up, it was a lot of like anti-blackness kind of things, like, oh, you're so dark, this, that, and the third. Um, and then going to high school too, it was a bit different, because I went to high school with, with, it was different, it was a whole lot of black people I went to high school with, which was, better for me in theory, but at the same time, it was kind of like, it was kind of mixed. And then when I got to college, it was a lot of like what she said. It was a lot of, oh, your skin is this and that, your skin is beautiful, this and that, right? And I think that when you get older and when you lose a lot of ignorance and a lot of anti-blackness that's kind of like rooted socially within everybody here, um, attitude shift and things kind of change, right? So for me now, my attitude towards me being dark skinned or whatever the case mm -hmm. may be is different from when I was five, six, seven years old in elementary school till now when I'm in college and I'm about to graduate, you know what I mean, so. Hey, listen, so let me say the following on this. We're gonna talk about skin, by the way. Like, this is one of these really highly political things for white people who, like, don't, especially white people who don't see color kind of things, you know what I mean? <laughs> I didn't even notice you were black, oh my gosh. <laughs> Didn't notice. I saw the Sean, you, you and Sam. I just thought you were the same people. All right. Anyway, white people, <laughs> yo, white people, don't do that. Okay, you don't have to do that. That's not what it means. I understand why people, I understand why white people do that because we're taught that if we mention color at all, it means we're racist. So the extreme of that is then we say oh, we don't see color, which is simply absurd. So it's like no, no, no. It's okay to see color. The point is okay. But what I want to say is. What's interesting, Sam, is that white, white people have not had, because we've not experienced, because really light and pale skin has, historically speaking, been politicized in a positive way. It's been seen as a really good thing. White people now haven't had the similar kind of political liberation, say, for you, to say, no, actually, pale skin is fine, because white people get shamed. If you have really pale skin, and I think a lot of black and, black and brown people don't understand this. If you have really pale skin, you get shamed into having pale skin, right? Like Sam, you just, you said, like, people say, oh, you're so pale. They don't mean that in a positive way. No one, is anyone ever saying to you, oh, you're so pale. That's so beautiful. It's so lovely. It's great. I mean, <clears throat> if you were in Korea, maybe. No, hang on. I'm asking you that question. Can you, does anyone ever say that in a positive way? I mean, I've gotten like one person who said that, and I was just like, like who said like, oh, you're so pale, and I was like, 
yeah, I know. And they were like, oh, it's beautiful. Like, you're beautiful. Like, okay. You're beautiful anyway, right? Anyway. And the subtext is it's just like, you know, what you were saying and Sean, what you were saying when you were younger. It's a similar kind of thing. It, it really is that you're actually you're kind of ugly and it's really bad to have pale skin. That's the subtext. I'm not saying that, by the way. You're lovely. And, but you get that, right? And so I think that a lot of times we don't understand that white people, it's not the same thing. So black people in particular understand. I'm not saying it's the same thing. It's not the same thing. It's just the, the corollary of what happens with white people is sometimes there's a similar kind. It's a, it's a very interesting thing. Anyway, cool. Oh, 